what people don't understand is that we didn't lose the source because of Eminem. You know, Jimmy Iovine took his um, advertisement, but we still was doing McDonald's, Cadillac, Paul Marlowe Soap, Don. I mean, we had every fucking company, Fortune 500 company who was invested in hip hop, invested in the magazine and, and spent for ads. Jimmy Iovine was a very small percentage of advertisement. Very small. It was just Interscope Records. And even when he took over Universal, it still was small. There's Sony, there's Warner Brothers, there's all these independents, all these clothing companies. You know, so people get it twisted. The bottom line was, and I'm going to say this one more time, Dave Mays, Steve Stout, and H. Edward Young all came together to form Source.com. Dave went and pulled out a $12 million loan, okay? They asked me to sit in on the meetings. I said, look, I don't know about this dot-com shit. I'm not for it, to be honest with you, Dave, but hey, you believe in it, so you go ahead and do it. You, you go ahead and go through with it. They went and got a brand new office on Fifth Avenue. I walked in the office, there was all these big, huge, look like big TVs, but they were computers. They, they were like the first computers. This is like the late 90s. And it crashed. It didn't work. We ended up owing owe the bank $30 million. Damn. We had to sell our percentage. Black Enterprise came in and they took over the source. That's how we lost the source magazine. And I had nothing to do with that decision. Now, in retrospect, when you think Steve, Dave, and H, they all had a great vision because what they said they wanted to do ended up happening. It just happened years later. You know, it was the timing. A lot of early dot-coms crashed. Ask Russell Simmons about that. You can ask yep. a lot of people. People lost millions and millions of dollars when, when it first came out. Everybody had the idea on how it was going to go, but everybody didn't have these phones and computers and access. So, so, so when people say that, they're giving Eminem way too much power. He didn't have that much power. Not at all. Not over the source. We was way too powerful and we was, way, we was making way too much money. So the bottom line was when these people, when they get up there and they talk about the source and they talk about me, my legacy means something to me. And I'm not gonna let anybody try to steer my daughter in a way of a narrative that isn't true. BC, see, I always have to stick up for my legacy. I, I have to. There's, it, 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 I'm not going to sacrifice that for anybody. Like I, like, I put the work in, you know what I'm saying? I love hip-hop. Since 11 years old, I told you, 1976, I've been involved with it. Like, I'm not going to allow people who know nothing about what happened, who know nothing about me, and for some reason just don't want to give me my just due, I'm not going to just allow that to happen and me just be quiet, press. I can't. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.